let's talk about pruning tomato plants. Let's quickly talk about the parts of the tomato plant so that when we're pruning the tomato plant, we're sure to cut off the, the right part of the tomato plant. I'll put up a graphic right here so that it's easier um, for you to understand what I'm talking about when I'm explaining this. An indeterminate tomato plant has a main stem growing up. And out of that main stem growing up, there'll be side branches coming out. Above that side branch coming out, there'll be flower clusters. In between where the main branch and the side branch meet, or the main stem and the side branch meet, coming out of that at a 45 degree angle will be what we call a sucker. And the sucker is what we want to trim off. The sucker in itself will become its own main branch, main stem, with all of the components of a main stem. It will have side leaves, it will have flower clusters that will turn into fruits, it will have suckers that grow out of that, and those suckers in turn will become their own main stems, and on and on and on. And you can see why these will quickly take over a flower bed or a garden, um, because they grow very, very quickly. So other than these plants taking over the garden, why else would we prune the tomato plant? What else is the benefit of pruning the tomato plant? The first benefit is that we get to control the structure of the plant. And we're going to talk about that a little bit more when we start pruning the tomato plants. The second benefit of pruning the tomato plant is we're going to increase the airflow in and around the plant, in and around the leaves. This in turn will decrease the chances of disease taking our plants early. Another benefit of pruning tomato plants is it allows us to spot problems with our tomato plants early enough to take action before it does too much damage to our plant. Uh, and specifically, it allows us to identify early pest damage, uh, like damage from the tomato hornworm caterpillar, which can decimate a plant in a matter of days. If we let that tomato plant grow without pruning it, we let all of those suckers grow it becomes a jumbled mass. It's very, very difficult to get in there and see problems. And it's also very difficult to get into that plant and apply any organic preventative measures uh, to prevent these problems from happening. And specifically, applying Bacillus thuringiensis. Very difficult to apply that organic preventative measure for caterpillars if we can't get in there and coat the leaves with the Bt. The first step in pruning our tomato plants is to determine what shape do we want our tomato plants to take. And by that I mean you can choose to grow a single main stem and prune off every sucker that grows out of that main stem for the life of the plant. You could also choose to let one or two suckers go um, when the plant is young let those one or two suckers grow into main stems as well. And you could grow a tomato plant with three main stems for the life of the plant. But you would need to come back for those three main stems every few weeks and to prune off all of the suckers that are growing out of those three main stems. And the reason why we don't let tomato plants go with unlimited stems, other than the other reasons that I talked about previously, is tomato plants grown vertically have only one root mass. One root mass to collect nutrients from the soil and deliver those nutrients to the fruits on the plant. The more fruits on the plant that you have, then they all have to share the nutrients coming out of that soil, out of that single root mass. So it's a good idea to limit the number of main stems that you grow to two or three. My plants here I grew with two main stems growing up and I've gone back every week and I've pruned off any more suckers that are growing out of those two main stems. Step two in pruning tomato plants is to go into your tomato plant from ground level up 12 to 16 inches and cut off any growth at that ground level area of your plant. Cut off suckers, cut off any fruit clusters, cut off any leaves. And we do this for two reasons. And the first reason that we do this is it increases airflow at the base of the plant, and that's gonna help resist, uh, let the plant resist disease. The second reason we do it is those lower level leaves 
will end up down into your soil, laying down into the dirt, uh, very susceptible then to picking up a disease or picking up a bacteria from the soil and quickly spreading that throughout your plant. So it's a very good idea. Clean up all of that foliage from ground level up 16 inches on your plant. Well, Bella's here to help us. Um, the next step in the pruning process I touched on a little bit earlier, but that is go back every week to your plant, follow your main stem or main stems from the base of the plant up. Look at every intersection where a side branch is coming out of your main stem and see if there is a sucker coming out of that side branch. If there is, take your snippers and just snip them off. And while I'm talking about this, um, the tool, my preferred tool to use when I'm pruning tomato plants are some needle nose snippers like this. The reason for that is I find them very easy to get into the plant, into tight spaces and snip off these suckers. I don't recommend using garden shears and I don't use them. I find them to be too big and bulky. The ends on these garden shears are very large and I find it difficult to get in between the main stem and the side branch in order to cut those suckers off. So um, I would propose, I suggest using some needle nose snippers for this job. Final step in pruning our tomato plants is after we begin to harvest the fruit. So the tomatoes at the base of our plant are going to ripen first and we're going to harvest those first. Once we've harvested the first set of tomatoes from the base of our plant, we can go ahead and snip off all the foliage, all the leaves down below that where that fruit was all the way up to the next set of fruit. That way, all the nutrients coming up from the ground aren't going to the leaves below your next set of fruit. Um, they're not gonna help feed your fruit. Sunlight isn't being used up on these leaves that are not helping your fruit grow. You're better off just clipping them off and looking forward to your next set of fruit right there. So pruning tomato plants, it's not difficult. It's not time consuming. It gives you some time with your plants where you can look for disease or look for other problems. Just to summarize, there's really four key steps to this. Take away any foliage from the ground up about 12 or 14 inches. Keep that area clean on your plant to increase airflow and resist disease. Once a week or so, go up your plant, check every intersection of your main stem and a side branch to see if there's any suckers growing out and clip those off. And after you have harvested your fruit, you can go ahead and take away all of the foliage from that fruit down. My name is Riley, this is my garden, and this is Bella. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, Bella and I would really love it if you would give a thumbs up. We'd also love for you to join a subscriber. So if you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the bell so you know the next time that we put out a video. Right, Bella? Right. Thanks for watching.